this is my one year review of the Duro 15 pack from Osprey. This pack has been with me to Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, numerous hikes and cycling trips throughout Ohio. And it's my main go-to pack when I have to carry stuff and gear and food. For the current price and the specs of it, such as the weight and dimensions, it will be in the description below. There will be a link. And if you check it out, you'll be able to see everything about it. The main thing I like about this pack is all the pockets that are accessible where I can reach without taking the pack off. The first two are right up here on the shoulders straps. Um, there's a large pocket right here, another smaller pocket right here, uh, the zipper pockets, and on the waist belt there's a pocket right here, and right there. All accessible without me taking the pack off. Same thing on the left side. Now I know what you're thinking. But Mark, where does my phone fit? Let's find out. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. One of the bigger phones with a bigger case. Let's see. Fits right here in the stretchy shoulder pocket. Fits right there. Let's check the zippered pocket. Uh, barely fits there. Easily fits there. Fits there. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's Pretty tight in there too. Yep, and it fits in that pocket too. And obviously this phone will fit in this pocket as well. And this one, because they're about the same size. Since this pack is considered a running pack, even though I've never used it for running, mostly for hiking and cycling, um, there are a lot of adjustment points. Obviously you have right here, it has this, and then you have these ones, these chest straps that are easily movable, and you can take them off. And then this chest strap is up here, is easily taken off as well and it has a little magnet that has that can hold the included 2.5 liter water bladder now I did buy a cover for this one um, because with my previous packs I always dragged the mouthpiece through the dirt with a cover I don't have to worry about it and speaking of the water bladder let me show you it Now the water bladder does have a quick disconnect right there, so press this button, take it off. So I can easily take this bladder out. And this bladder does have a little hanger right up here, so as you drink the water out of it, it doesn't slouch down in the pack. And here's the water bladder. Does it have a little carry handle? Does have this Ziploc pack made from Hydra pack. 
and it does have a pretty large opening so you can throw ice cubes in here fill it pretty quickly dump it out pretty quickly and clean it on the inside and I'll put it back in now with most packs if you have a pretty full water bladder it's going to be difficult to put it back in if you already have gear inside of here and you take your little bladder hanger connect it and connect the tube to your bladder and there is a little pass through for the tube to go through your shoulder either on the right side or the left side of the pack depending on your preference since this is considered a running pack you can store these z poles in several places the first place you can store these trekking poles is right on the shoulder straps um there is a little shot cord right here and right up here and right up here there is a little uh, cord lock where you can adjust the size of this but I find this pretty uncomfortable even though it is easily accessible it puts up a, a lot of pressure on my on my collarbone and it's not very comfortable after long hikes the other ways you can store these trekking poles is right up here. The only thing is, using the shock cords, I can't reach it. I'll have to take my pack off if I wanted it. The third way to store it is using the love handle pockets. I can still reach it and somewhat get it out. But putting it back is a little bit more difficult. And I'm never sure if it's securely in there. So I usually don't do it this way. My preferred way of storing these trekking poles is right on the shoulder straps using the included shock cord. I just stretch it out, put it right there, and it's easily accessible. So if I ever needed it, I can easily get it out. And for you ultra runners, there is a little whistle that comes with it attached on the right shoulder pocket. Now for the main storage compartment, it is pretty large it definitely fits a whole entire day's worth of gear and food there are these two little straps you have to release which is the stretch pocket and it it is pretty large it usually fits my raincoats in there hats gloves upper compartment does have Places for sunglasses, wallets, and a little hook for my keys. The main compartment is pretty large. That's my raincoat, my short sleeve puffy coat, and my usual puffy coat with long sleeves. And it is pretty cavernous. Definitely fits a full day's worth of food and gear and water. And here's the back panel. Um, right here, right next to your back is the water bladder. Um, there is some mesh right here, here, as well as on the shoulder strap. It is pretty breathable, but with anything, it is going to get sweaty and your back will get sweaty wherever this is contacting your body. The biggest grip I have with this pack 
is where the stretch mesh pocket, to get to anything inside the pack, the pack, you have to release these two to get to the main compartment. And it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a one more step you have to do. Overall, I've been pretty happy with this pack. Actually, I've been very happy. Uh, this has been my go-to pack for the past few trips, and I don't see myself buying another pack. Thanks for watching.